developing tonight, North Korea has launched another ballistic missile. This time it flew over an island of Japan. This latest move has increased tensions with the U.S. and could potentially trigger a tough response from the White House. KKL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan joins us now with the latest on this international crisis, Dave. Yeah, no question this missile was aimed at President Trump. Now we'll see next what his reaction is. With the issues facing President Trump seemingly mounting by the hour, not the least of which leading the recovery from a historically destructive hurricane, now the president's being challenged again by North Korea, which has sent a ballistic missile flying over Japan an alarming provocation. Pushing the envelope at a perilous time once again, North Korea tonight has launched another ballistic missile, this time over northern Japan. Apparently responding to U.S. South Korea military training exercises in the region, as well as warnings from President Trump and new tougher United Nations and U.S. sanctions, the North Koreans fired off three short-range missiles on Saturday, and now for the second time in four days, another missile took off near Pyongyang. But this is believed to be the first time since 2009 that a North Korean missile has actually flown over Japan. In this case, it was over the northern Japan island of Hokkaido before splashing into the Pacific Ocean, which CBS News Pentagon correspondent David Martin says is significant. But this represents a major escalation in tensions over North Korea's missile program since all the other launches in recent years have been fired at a high enough angle that they would always come down in the Sea of Japan short of Japanese territory. This time, the Japanese government had to warn civilians living in northern Japan to take shelter. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe said North Korea has launched a missile. It's likely that it has flown over our country. We'll immediately gather information and analyze it and take all possible measures to ensure people's safety. On Sunday, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said the U.S. will continue to pressure North Korean leader Kim Jong-un with tougher sanctions. We continue to want the uh, Kim regime to understand there is a different path that he can choose. But that may be cold comfort to the Japanese, whose country has been non-combative since World War II, but is now facing an imminent danger off their shores. Just this past weekend, Japanese forces conducted military drills in the shadow of Mount Fuji. And now Japan's chief cabinet secretary declared on Tuesday that the North Korean missile flyover is an unprecedented, serious and grave threat to the country. But what may have lit the fuse for North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un was the annual U.S.-South Korea joint military exercises near the border, which the military brass defend. In our view, we have to continue to exercise until we have a reason not to. And that reason has not yet emerged. And that may cause some noise from North Korea. Now, that's what we routinely expect. Uh, but it doesn't stop us in our resolve to be as ready as possible. As we mentioned, the North Korean missile landed in the Pacific Ocean. It was more than 700 miles to the east of Japan. Now, a Japanese TV news network reportedly showed Patriot missiles lined up in Japan and ready to shoot down an incoming missile. But they were not fired, apparently because the North Korean missile was not on a projectile to actually strike Japan. Jeff Lina, back to you.